But the fact is, she released her medical records some time ago. And if you listen to my show last week, I just, I just called a friend of mine, Dr. Robert Heisinger, who's an excellent internist pulmonologist, and we just dispassionately sat and evaluated the medical record that she had released. And based on the information that she has provided and her doctors have provided, we were gravely concerned, not just about her health care, not about her health, but her health care. Why? Well, it's, it's hard for people to understand. I mean, both of us concluded that if we were providing the care that she was receiving, we'd be ashamed to show up in the doctor's lounge. We'd be laughed out. It's, it's, she's receiving sort of 1950-level sort of care by our evaluation. So we, we took a look at her record, and here are the basic facts. She had two episodes of what's called deep venous thrombosis. Common problem, blood clots in the leg. She also has hypothyroidism. And she'd been treated for hypothyroidism with something called Armour Thyroid, which is very unconventional and something that we used to use back in the 60s. And both he and I went, hmm, that's weird. And by the way, wow, uh, Armour Thyroid sometimes has some weird side effects. Oh, well, okay. So she goes on Coumadin. That's weird. Uh, because Coumadin really isn't even used anymore. Now we use Eliquis or Xarelto, things like this. Certainly the, somebody, the presidential candidate, would get one of the newer anticoagulants. Then she mm. falls, hits her head, and as a complication of that, has something called a transverse sinus thrombosis. This is an exceedingly rare clot. I've only seen one of these in my career, which is a clot in the collecting system for the cerebral spinal fluid. And it essentially guarantees that somebody has something wrong with their coagulation system. Well, she's had two clots, a transverse sinus thrombosis. What's wrong with her coagulation system? Has that been evaluated? And oh, by the way, armor thyroid associated rarely with hypercoagulability. So the very medicine the doctors are using may be causing this problem, and they're using an old-fashioned medicine to treat it. What is going on with her health care? It's bizarre. I've got to tell you, look, maybe they have reasons. But at a distance, it looks bizarre. That there ought to be some sort of standard for people that are going to lead the country or are going to be making these important decisions. This Again, Hillary may be fine with all of this. I mean, it's, it's dangerous and it's concerning. But you can see, and by the way, when she, there are two other things that gravely concerned us. When she hit her head, she had to wear these prism glasses right. when she came out. Right. That is brain damage, and so that and it's affecting her balance. Now, clearly it hasn't affected her cognition, but tell us a little more about that. That's profound. And then number two, when they screen her for heart disease, again, they did an old-fashioned screen. It just seems like she's getting care from somebody that she met in Arkansas when she was a kid. And uh, I just, you've got to wonder. You've got to wonder. It's, it's no, not so much that her health is a, is a grave concern. It's that the care she's getting could make it a concern.